All right, guys, well, I'm back today with an overview of the Ruger PC Charger, a 9mm pistol that has some very interesting features. If you follow the channel, you'll know I picked this one up used from American Tactical and Pawn, located in Shelby, North Carolina, during a pawn shop find video. Before I get too far into the overview, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the 9mm to help make this video. They just did recent price drops on 9mm, including 9mm hollow points, as low as about $20 for a box of 50, and the code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200. Definitely check these guys out. Also, if you follow the channel, you'll know a while back I reviewed the PC carbine sent over to the channel by M Carbo with all of their updates and accessories. And if you're looking for any add-ons for the Ruger series of rifles, or in this case, the pistol, definitely check out M Carbo. They've got a ton of updates and add-ons that really improve the function, especially of the rifle. With that being said, the pistol, though, when its original configuration is absolutely awesome, but is it still practical? with the latest rulings on the devices that hang off the back of these and my answer is yes after trying it and that's one of the main reasons why i wanted to do this review and this configuration is it worth grabbing let's talk about the specs and features and how it performed at the range starting from the front and working our way to the back we do have a very shortened barrel because this is considered a pistol and it's threaded half by 28s it's surrounded and encapsulated by the handguard and attachment system that allows this to be removed with this depressing and rotation of this lever. It also has M-lock slots, two on the sides and one on the bottom, allowing you to put this hand stop, which protects your hand from the muzzle if you decide to grip it up here. Moving along to the receiver itself, it does have the extended charging handle built in and it works out incredibly smooth with a monolithic pick rail at the top. The safety is a cross trigger safety. It works out fairly good and it does have the bolt hold open on the bottom. On the reciprocating side of the handgun, you can see the other safety and the mag release right here. When the hand stop was a little bit closer, you can accidentally drop the mag while gripping the gun. So I moved the hand stop a little bit further up and you don't have that problem. Or you can grab around the mag well and you don't have that problem either. It also utilizes AR style grips and you can see this one has the Magpul K2 Plus grip with the rubberized finish. It does come with two QD slots at the rear, which is pretty slick. And I would add a second one up here on the M-Lock rail if I decide to actually use this for any practical applications where I would need a sling. The pick rail at the back is nice because there are so many different options to hang off the back depending on what happens with this latest ruling. But in its current configuration, it's actually very pointable and manageable without anything off the back and surprisingly accurate and functional down at the range. We'll talk about its performance at this part of the review. Functionally, I had no issues whatsoever, including the Reman Callaway Ballistics ammo. No light primer strikes, no feed issues, and I'm probably about 200 rounds into this with a little bit more with some of my buddies shooting it. And everybody really enjoyed shooting this. There's not a ton of recoil, even though it's a straight blowback design, but the pistol is rather heavy. It's got some weight to it. Putting a real low rise optic on the top is slick because you can really pick up that dot and engage your target. With a more two-handed grip, it's actually very nimble and well-balanced, and you can easily point shoot with this thing or maybe attach a laser aiming device to kind of aid you in CQB situations, but it was 100% reliable. So if you were going to use it for some type of personal defense application or serious use application, it runs. No issues whatsoever. If you decided to SBR this later in the future, you can easily adapt it with a stock on the end, which is a nice touch. So if you wanted to fill out that paperwork and do it the legal way, this is actually a great platform to do it with. So very big fan of that. Ergonomically, um, it's actually very easy to use and a, it makes a little bit more sense in the pistol configuration than the rifle configuration. If you wanted to drop the mags, you can simply come up from the handguard, throw another one in and then chamber the round and then get back on your target so it works out good. I found this surprisingly accurate for what it is. Is it better than a traditional handgun? I don't think for most applications, but it's a cool platform to have. It's something nice to have down at the range and it was 100% functional with no issues whatsoever. 
I can definitely recommend adding one to your collection, understanding its limitations. It's not the best home defense gun. It's not the best concealed carry gun, but it may be a great backpacking application. And depending on what happens in the future with the things that hang off the back, that's when it becomes really relevant and awesome again. Is it still worth grabbing now? Yes, because it seems like prices are dramatically dropping on these because of the latest rule changes. You can get a lot of these style firearms for very affordable prices, and now is the time to grab them in this current configuration and see what happens. Because worst case scenario, it's still a very functional and fun pistol down at the range, and if something changes, there's a lot of opportunities to improve this for more stability in the future. All the information will be in the description below, including my campsite page, Patreon, Instagram, and my channel memberships. The channel memberships, those guys are getting jumps on deals, limited run deals, and exclusive members-only content. So definitely check that out and follow me on those other platforms to so stay tuned for all of those daily deals. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.